Good morning, this is Jeremy with Niagara Sprinkler and Landscapes. I just finished installing this XC400 Hunter controller and I want to just kind of run through it and show you how to set this controller. It's fairly easy to set. Um, I'll just go through it how I normally start uh, uh, setting it and I always start with the current time and date. So as you can see there, I'm on current time date and I'm going to just hit the plus key here and that will change that to 2015. And then this little hand here, or this arrow, will take you to the next function. And here we are, it's the asking for the month. Today is July, and I'm going to hit this little arrow again. You can see it right here where my thumb is. And the day of the week, and it's the 24th today. So when I'm finished with that, I'm going to hit that arrow again. It's going to take me to the, the time it is. So I'll set the time, and then I'm going to go ahead and set the start time. So as you can see here, I've got the uh, dial turned to start times. And what time do I want start time number one to start? Okay, this, as you can see, the display shows program A, zone number one. It shows off right now. What time do I want that to start? So I'll go ahead and hit the plus key, and that will take me to the start times here. And I'm going to start this particular one up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to hit the plus button here, and it's going to take me all the way to 6 o'clock. Boom, ran past a little bit, so hit the minus button. And then I'm going to hit this little arrow here again. You can kind of think of this as a next or a, an enter button. So once you hit that, it'll go to start time number 2, which we don't want to start time number 2. Start time number 2 is if you want to water two times in one day. If I hit it again, it'll say start time number 3. There again, that's if you want program A to start up a third time, which we do not want. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave those on off. Okay, now I'm going to set the runtime. Now in this particular system, this is in Sun City, it's an older part of Sun City, and they plumb this with just one Hydra zone. So there's going to only be one zone here that we're going to set. So I'm going to hit the plus button, and it's going to ask me, okay, how long do you want this to water? And I am going to set this one to water for 45 minutes. This is a high flow bubbler system. So a lot of water comes out in a short amount of time. So it's not like a drip system that we need to set it to run for, you know, a few hours. Okay, so zone number one shows 45 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead again and press this button here. And that's going to take me to zone number two, which we do not have. And then three, four, which we're not using either. So, okay, now I'm going to set the water days. Okay, the little raindrops, that indicates the day that it's going to water. And I'm going to have this system uh, water twice a week. So we're going to go ahead and set it for Monday. So I'm going to just hit the arrow here. It's going to take me to Tuesday. I'm going to hit the minus button. And that's going to put a little slash through it. So it's not going to water on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's going to water on Mondays and Thursdays. So I'm going to leave that, hit enter. Now it's going to blink on Friday. I'm going to hit the minus button turns it off, turns it off again on Saturday, turns it off again, boom, now we're done. What you don't want to do is hit this button at this point and go into a different schedule because once you go into a different schedule, then you no longer are on the days of the week schedule. You're on a completely different setting. See where it says odd? Okay, now it's going to water on odd days. Now it's going to water on the days that you set it, the calendar days, which we don't want to do either. So you always want to just leave it, once you have set the days of the week, just leave it right there and don't continue on because you'll set improper uh, specifications at that point. So just leave it right here and then it's going to go ahead and water just on the two days that we have it set. You can see that it shows Mondays and Thursdays. So now we're done. That's all we have to do. We don't have to do anything else. One other last thing that I like to do is just make sure that we're, the seasonal adjustment is on 100%. And then when you're completely done setting the controller, go ahead and leave it on run for um, automatic operation. Hope you enjoyed this video and it was a, some help to you. Check out my other uh, videos on YouTube at Niagara Sprinkler and Landscapes or visit my website, niagarasprinkler.com.